Hello. Thank you for using the Old Castle Infrastructure Storm Capture Design Tool. I'm Caitlin Saranchak, the Stormwater Solutions Engineering Manager. In this video, I will show you how to get started in designing your own storm capture system. Once the tool is launched, the first step is to enter your project information, including name, city, state, zip code, and company or firm. You can also select the specific site type. Advancing to the next step at the bottom of the page brings the system set up. Here, you can upload a PDF as a base drawing. Browse to the file you want to include. And then select your drawing size and your drawing scale. The plant position and adjustment buttons allow you to shift or rotate the base drawing and will come into play once your storm capture system is created. The hide show background button at the bottom of the page allows you to toggle the image on or off. You also have the option to delete the background. The next step is to start customizing your layout based on site parameters. Start with the system type by selecting infiltration, detention, or retention. For this tutorial, we'll select a detention application. If a watertight application is required, select yes to add an impermeable liner to your system. Now we get into the design specifics by entering a volume and a system height. In this example, we'll use 9,000 cubic feet and a system internal height of 5 feet. Based on this criteria, the tool auto calculates the storage capacity per module, the number of modules required, and the module designation. To verify that the selected internal height will work with your site, the top of module elevation is calculated once you enter the invert elevation of your system. Next, we can set up the layout. The rectangle and square templates require additional input criteria based on available footprint length and width, or you can select custom to design any other shape to fit within varying site constraints and features. We'll select a rectangle configuration with an available site length of 150 feet and a width of 18 feet. Click Generate Layout and the layout shows up in the workspace. The layout generates in the center of the workspace Zoom in to locate it, and using the Select All button at the bottom of the page to highlight the system and drag it to the appropriate install location. Remember those plan position and adjustment buttons at the system setup? Here's where you can go back and adjust the plan with your newly generated layout. If the layout isn't quite what you had in mind, the buttons along the bottom of the screen also allow for a variety of options to get to exactly what you want. A selected module will be highlighted. Use the multi-select mode to work with multiple modules at a time. You can delete modules. Add modules. Using the single select mode, you can even use the array feature to add multiple modules at a time. A 
volume is calculated in real time along the top of the workspace as modules are added or changed. To get a preview of your plan and elevation views, simply click on the plan view and elevation view buttons. Once the layout is ready to go and exactly how you want it, advance to module design to add in access locations, inlet, and outlet pipes. Select the module you want to add a feature to and check the boxes to add pipes and manholes. You can add up to four pipes per module. Toggling between the pipe designations allows you to change their locations, invert elevations, material, and diameter. For this example, we'll add one pipe. The pipe can be designated as either an inlet or an outlet. Use the dropdowns to select pipe material and diameter. The position of each pipe on the module can be adjusted by sliding the scales. Adding access to a module is as simple as checking the next box. Up to two access points can be added per module. The manhole location is adjusted by the drop-down and defaults to the center of the long or short walls. You can select a 30-inch frame and cover for standard access or a 24-inch by 24-inch frame and grate for surface runoff. Depending on site criteria and local regulations, you can also select the access type or steps, ladders, or nothing at all. Finally, enter a rim elevation. Repeat these same steps to set your outlet. Designating a pipe as an outlet pipe provides the option to add a weir wall for an integrated control structure. The weir defaults to the center of the module on either the short or the long axis. Use the scales to adjust your outlet pipe location. Once your pipes have been added and access locations are finalized, the next step is to give your system a final review. If everything checks out, you're one click away from receiving your design drawings. Click Request Drawings at the lower right-hand corner to have them emailed to you directly in a matter of minutes.